Okay. I don't care how many times I do Zoom. <laughs> if I only use it once a month, I forget what I need to be doing. Okay, so it's recording. Great. And I will upload that. If nobody else gets on here with me, that's okay. I'll upload that to um, the uh, YouTube and share that for the uh, closed captioning. Okay. So, hey, Hannah and Carlina, Sherry Haley, probably missed some. Okay. So, I've hit recording and we're recording here. We're live. Okay. And, um, be sure and say something. Yes, be sure and say something so that I can add you all to um, the drawing for a goodie. Okay, and I think I did that last month. I don't remember. Okay, um, now get down to business. Um, top sellers for the month so far is Christmas Camper. We had our big holiday market. I took one with me, the warmer of the month that I got. Had 10 come in while I was there. We are only seeing my ear. Wonder why. Wonder what's going on. Is that the case? Okay, I'm gonna turn this around. You're gonna see junk, okay? There you go. You see me better now? Somebody speak up for me. Can you see all of me, Missy? I see your entire face. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, anyway, we sold all 10 of those campers and then uh, brought back the one that we took up with us. So, hopefully, I'll sell it tonight because we sold like five others. I think five others. Otherwise, I can't remember, but we sold a lot of them. They're really cute, cute warmer. So that's the top seller for the month so far. Oh, sorry. If I do that, <laughs> I forget that I'm doing my laptop. I have Zoom. And up here I have y'all. Kelly Manks, Pam. Yay, Crystal. Crystal keeps me straight. I can't remember what I tell y'all, but she does. Misty. Yay. Glad you're back. Okay. All right. So Christmas camper was number one so far for the month. Snow globe, no kidding, was is second. Pretty and plaid and northern plaid. Sugar plum berry, which is one of the bricks. Candy cane wishes is another one of the bricks. Sorry about that. I hope that notification was just there for me and not for y'all. Um, Christmas Cottage, Caramel Sugar Cookie, which is another one of the bricks. <laughs> okay, I'm, I hope it's a good eye and ear that you're seeing, Heather. <laughs> and uh, the Fragrance Flower Luna with its Luna Juice, okay. And Snow Kiss Cranberry, which I really like that. I'm not sure how strong it is, but I really, really like that. Oh, speaking of strong. And Nikki Mick, thanks for getting on. And Angie, Angie Jeffries, woohoo. Hope you're all better, woman. I prayed lots for you. Um, speaking of long lasting scent, I probably told y'all this last time. Perfect pumpkin pear perfect pumpkin pear a week later was still was still smelling okay and smelling good it actually gave me a headache when we first put it in but hey tanner wade yay thanks for getting on um 
but that perfect pumpkin pear if you if somebody's wanting something that they'll say i want something strong that lasts it did okay i'm telling you so that's something you can sell till they sell it out since it was a sin of the month okay so we did our top sellers and um wanted to let you know i'll be finishing up the calculations for the october challenge this week okay i got started on it when we were on our way to our trip okay blood orange spice needs to be good with something carlina i don't i'm not getting it it's not doing a thing for me out of the container so that would be something i need to try huh anyway on our way to the show i was working on the calculations and uh then it got buried it just got buried we got back and gary was unloading and i was unloading i'm still unloading tanner's been in my house and molly's been in my house and they know <laughs> what this room looks like but we work right it's our workspace it's our office so i will work on the challenge for october and get that announced this week so y'all be watching and of course, um, I'll send a message to whoever the winner is too, okay? Um, if you were watching on the team page, I, I gave a woohoo out to Missy Mitchell. She earned Sensational Start Level 2 yesterday. And she's still got a couple of days yet to go. So if she got some recruits or a lot more sales, she could do a Level 3. Yes level three at rocks but you're still making us look smart missy okay and molly Embry has earned level one so far and your days molly are into december so you can still uh you can still do something with that okay oh something that i didn't put in my notes that i want to talk to you about and i hope i don't offend anybody um I was just scrolling through somebody, a friend's Facebook page, and I noticed that at her son's elementary school, they had a fall festival and they had a list of the vendors. They didn't have a Scentsy consultant people. It was probably free or 10 bucks or something, but they had a pink zebra, they had a paparazzi, they had a perfectly posh, which if anybody knows that, if you've been around a long time with Scentsy, hi Barbara, <laughs> you better come back and love on us, we miss you. Um, if you've been with Scentsy very long, you know that perfectly posh, the people that run it broke off from Scentsy, okay, and opened their own business. So that's what that's about. But all of those were there, but there wasn't a Scentsy consultant, at least not on that flyer that I saw. So what I'm saying is this, don't sit and wait for people to come and ask you, double check and, <laughs> double check and see if they, if something's going on at the school, call the PTO, find out who the chair of the PTO is, or call the school secretary. They'll be glad to share that mess with you and 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 get in on these small, yeah, uh, oh, wow, that's great, Kelsey. But get in on these small sh events that are around that and and. Then the other thing that I shared with Tanner and a couple others, Molly maybe, I think I put it on the team page. Uh, while we were at our event, staying with friends, superstar directors, Scott and Angela Tippett had us in their home again this year while we had our event and uh, saved us some money. But um, she had a three hour event that she had been asked to do. And you all know it's hard enough to set up Sensi, but for a three hour event, what do you take? Very little, right? So what she was gonna do was make up 
what has been told to us now is in compliance and we can show it to people and all that mess. But, you know, um, go to Dollar Tree or somewhere even cheaper and get some mugs or some kind of packaging and put a scent circle and a room spray or, you know, something like that and sell it for what is a scent circle and a room spray is $11, right? Sell it for eleven sixty six. Get your tax out of it, and um, you know, but pay, have those ready as gifts for them to come through, and they can buy them that way. And then what Angela was going to do is, if they had, um, if they wanted a warmer, she was just going to order it for them. You know, you could take a few things, just not a lot, but maybe concentrate on doing those little packages like that. Did we get hung up on that, Kelsey? Oh, hello, Michelle. Okay. I did my first huge last Saturday. Way to go. Way to go, Jamie. That's great. Did, and not just sales, did you get any bites? I mean, that's what I've, I've told everybody, you know, you're out there planting seeds, you're letting people know how many people are going to come through at these events and say, I don't have a consultant anymore. She moved away. Well, if she moved away, she should be taking care of her people, right? I mean, somehow you work it out. And, um, but we hear that all the time. There's always people coming through looking for, looking for people. Okay. They're always coming through looking. So just file that away. If you don't, if it's not a very, I mean, three hours, fix up the little gift packs. That's a great idea. I thought it was. And I've shared pictures on the team page if you want to get on there and look, okay? Um, there were several uh, superstar directors that shared theirs and um, I went back and copied those. Angela actually tagged me in them and I went back and copied them. I'm going to yawn. I am so sorry. I used to wonder why Orville did that when he used to do uh, superstar director calls. Like at, at one reason it was yawning, it was 10 o'clock at night, I guess. But it was for us. But you get to talking and you yawn. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. Now. We beat that dog to death. Watch the team page for shout outs on like what I was saying about Missy and Molly and their uh, sensational start level twos and other promotions, people that are hitting certified and all that. Also, I'll be getting the stats report out for our team. So trying to get up to date on that. I'm behind on my woohoo cards. I know I'm behind on them. Uh, I think I'm home for a couple of months so and gary's going to be going on the road for about three weeks so i'll have time to get caught up i need to get caught up with the dust rag but that's a whole nother bailiwick okay i just watched the live that was that i shared on our team page that was on the Cincy family consultants page today uh with hannah and i can't remember how to say her last name but she's been with it for a long time Gary and I were, we were in Cancun, I think, and I had an IT problem. It was actually um, the button that says print all receipts <laughs> down at the bottom of your orders whenever you get done putting your orders in. And um, I wanted that, we used to do that all the time, and then they took it away, but then they brought it back. I need you. Uh, yeah, I can't pay you, woman, but you can come be my personal assistant. Hey, Anita, thanks for getting on. And Carlina, we'll go back and read that, y'all. Y'all, there's some good comments being made in there if y'all can catch those. Um, anyway, I just watched the live uh, video with Hannah from IT and talking about the new since he's success on our workstation now the new sense of success consists of our news tab our marketing tab and our business tab i think was what was in there 
it's not like Cincy Success, our uh, store, okay? Two different things. And also, uh, I don't know how it looks on your phone exactly, but I know on my desktop now, everything's down the left side. And you can click and make it expand or make it go back in. Um, I'm not loving it, but I don't love change. So, uh, Jennifer Amberg, you say something that you're on here, okay? So I can enter you in our drawing. Everybody that's on live, make sure they say something, okay? Anyway, um, it's like everything else. We'll get used to it and we'll love it. I think the search is going to work better than it does right now because I know the search works great on our personal websites because now if somebody's looking for a lid all you got to do is go on your website and up in the search place area type in the which warmer it is and it'll bring up everything for that warmer including the dish now that's bringing it up okay <laughs> hey carly yay all right she's listening too they are rocking it together, okay? Um, yes, <laughs> it threw me off too. But um, so, you know, I'm real bad about, I'm, I guess it's not bad about, if somebody says they're needing a dish, I go to my website and I bring up the dish and start going through and looking, looking, looking. And actually now, uh, you can click on that and it'll tell you like um, there's one that's a slump dish. I think it would be like for the country light dish or warmer. So go to your websites and you can do the search there. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that they will um, get things once they get things all together on our regular workstations that they will have that search that'll go lickety split like it does on the website. I'm thinking it's going to, okay? Not loving it right now, but it will get better, okay? So, um, I posted that um, video with Hannah from IT on our team page. It's also on the Cincy Family Consultant page. Okay. I am so sorry, guys. Tomorrow is the day for world tour announcements, and Orville and Heidi will be live at 11 Pacific time. Okay, so that's one o'clock Central time. Do the math. Okay, and they'll be telling the when and the where, and then registration should open up shortly after that. Cross your fingers that they don't run into our world tour locations the first weekend in March because we have a show. We have several shows in February and March, but that's they're going into March with them this year. Okay. So they will be telling you that. Um, shipping and time for Christmas. This was posted the other day. And if your customers, you and your customers want to receive an order in time for Christmas, please order by in Canada or APO, FPO, Guam by December 10th. Okay. Uh, in Mexico by December 13th. And in the United States and Puerto Rico, December 17th. I would yawn. I would do my cutoff before the 17th. Okay. I'll probably do mine around the 12th or the 13th. And that way I make sure it gets to me and I can get it to my people. Okay. And um, and if you order by the above deadlines, since he guarantees your package will leave our distribution center in time to make it to you or your customers by Christmas. Please note that we set these dates based on typical delivery times, 
reported to us by postal carriers since he can't be responsible for weather carrier issues or other delays beyond our control. As always, we will continue to ship any orders placed after Christmas deadline, but we cannot guarantee they will be shipped in time for Christmas. Ordering early is always your best bet, but these dates should help you plan the rest of your holiday selling season. Okay, now, uh, orders in the U.S. shipped using economy shipping are not guaranteed to deliver by Christmas, even if placed on or before the order deadline. So, if you're Tatwad Carolyn and you always choose $6 instead of $8 on direct ships, you might not want to do it that week, okay? Yeah. Uh, last thing they say is cutoff dates may be subject to change. Now, now, all of that being said, we don't have to quit working our business as of December 17th or whatever your magic date is that Cincy has given you. Hey, Dana Conrad, you work with our daughter-in-law. I want you to know that. I think I may have told you that probably like 10 times, but Jill Page, yeah. So you could tell you've been talking to her mother-in-law, right? <laughs> anyway, um, all that being said, that doesn't mean you have to quit working your business because of the Christmas cutoff. Orders will still be taken in after, during Christmas. They may not be shipped that week between Christmas and New Year's, but we still have those people with last minute shoppers and then peeps that may want to do it like a catalog party while they're with their, their family. Um, I'm mailing out, I mailed out a tote party today um, to a gal, former consultant, but she wants to do um, a catalog party over the Thanksgiving holiday when she's with her family. So cross our fingers she gets some good sales on that and can get some good uh, free and half price host rewards um, then that leads me to this as we get closer to christmas and closer to the end of the year um, one thing that bothers me i don't know how it is where you live uh, but in the city of Murray, we are in the county of Callaway in Kentucky, we have a tangibles tax that businesses have to pay. So I have to do my inventory and then turn that into my account. And then next uh, October, November, I'll get a tangibles tax from the city and the county on what I had on hand at the end of the year. So I'm wanting to clean out, right? I'm wanting to get rid of this stuff. One way of doing this is people that are having, um, there we go, people that are having last minute gifts, you know, you can get on Facebook and say, if you're needing any last minute Christmas ideas, I'm your go-to, something like that. You can't list what you have on hand but you can list that you can you can post not list you can post that you can help them out last minute okay so just you can't say that you have product on hand or list what you have on hand but you can do that it's kind of like the mystery bags and the specials ask me about my special ask me about any last minute gift ideas you may need okay hey megan cobb and um that's one thing i wanted to stress to you with that end of the year thing coming up okay um do we have any questions from anybody any questions any comments just be coy. That's right. <laughs> Just be coy. That would do it every time. Let's see. I'm going to go back here. 
Yeah. Oh, man. Kelsey was saying that last December, where she works, what normally takes two days is taking two weeks. They will get flooded on the 17th, that's for sure. Sherry Haley, that's a good idea. Y'all be sure and say something if you're on here live so I can add you in for our uh, our drawing, okay? All right. She said she blindly bought some scents. She didn't have. There you go. I run into that kind of thing at the State Fair, Carlina. Um, I'd love to see a picture of that woman, see if it's the same one. Uh, hand soap and circle bagged up. That's great. There you go. Uh, Jamie, did you have those mugs made up for your event that you were at? And the hand soap in circles. I'll go down here. That tax does suck. I've been, you know, we pay tax on, we pay tax to get it. And then they turn around and they tax us all. One year I had to do deliveries on Christmas Eve. Yes. And I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Did Jamie have to get off? I don't know if she was sick. She was at the pharmacy earlier trying to get some medicine. But uh, I think that was a great idea that I stole from Angela and that you all had already stolen too. Oh. Good deal. Good deal, Angie. I'm so glad. You know, uh, it totally, er, er, sorry, Jamie, yes, okay, thank you. Jamie did have those uh, mugs, et cetera, done up at her event. And you're also selling them to customers, good deal. And you know, when you make those up, you can post those. It's okay to post those. Now they've decided it's not out of compliance to do that. So that's great. And you're charging what Cincy charges. Oh my word, that's a lot of mugs. <laughs> Yay for the PRV, right? Okay, so we've, we've added some new consultants and um, we're do, we, we did great on sales last month. We outdid a year ago. Uh, it looks like we're doing really well this month. Okay, Nikki, I have to figure out, you lived in Murray, okay. Um, anyway, I digress, I lost what I was talking about. If anybody wants to remind me, apparently it wasn't really important. Oh, okay, yep, I'll post pics on the page. Good, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, all right. So, any more comments? Oh, I know what I was going to say, Angie Jeffries. The when I had my neck surgery that month, I did, didn't leave the house for a whole month, and we sold over two thousand dollars. And it was customers calling us. I mean, I sat in my recliner or my dad's recliner and uh, yeah, talking about new members too, but, um, and doing that. And it was like, that was the most down, I mean, immobile I could be and um, still was able to make the sales. The next month sucked, but, but that May was great. And it was like, never left my house or my mama's house. Uh, yeah, Sherry, I was talking about new members. Um, we, we've done well on the sales and we've got a few recruits. Most of the recruits in our group are in Germany. 
And yay for Sabrina because Sabrina hit Superstar Director um, this, well, October threw her into Superstar Director and that's great for her. Um, and I, I look back, I think we've had two recruits in the U.S. since the first of the month and all the rest of them have been over there. So um, there's probably 10 or 15. Uh, I was going to look, make sure, but anyway, we need to work on building our teams, okay? Just keep sharing the business and sharing the uh, blessing and uh, working on that, okay? Just throw it out there. We've had two now join with the host flip, and uh, Lisa and Molly did that, so it was a good thing. And, We've had them take advantage of the $15 thing. So either one of those. Okay, so our next team group call, we're not gonna have one in December. Everybody's gonna be busy with whatnot and all this. Um, our next team, uh, team chat, team group chat will be January 20th at eight o'clock central, 8 p.m. central. And in the meantime, you know you can come to this page and find out anything reach out to sherry reach out to your director um we're here for you okay and if y'all don't have any more questions or comments we'll get off here make sure you say something yay 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 that you're live okay as of 8 32 i will shut that part off okay so I'm going to end this meeting.